Thank you very much. Chairman McCall, same question to you. Can you yeah. tell us something about what witnesses that appeared before your committee had to say about the consequences of this illegal search? Sure, and, and thanks for the question. <clears throat> and I've seen this movie before, but it's the worst I've seen now. Um, the dangerous uh, journey uh, that they have to make to get to the border. Uh, the children who, who die um, along the route, who are also abused, sexually abused along the way by smugglers, by cartels. Um, it's it's ex absolute suffering. Uh, the magnet that brings them in was a change in policy on political asylum because the cartels are really smart. They know that our law has changed on day one. They can now get these, these people inside the United States and then they make this dangerous journey. I've seen horrific film, filmage of the, what the cartels do without getting into graphic detail. But then once they get into the United States, Mr. Chairman, what are we gonna do with five million people that have no legal status in this country that have to live in the shadows? Where do the young women go? They get sex trafficked. Where do the young men go? They go to MS-13 or gangs, they become their families. There are stash houses inside the United States where 20 of these adopted children or sponsored children go to that makes no sense at all because they're being trafficked in the United States. To make things worse, I've seen 18 wheelers stuffed with bodies that have, have died in, in Mr. Castro's district that have been smuggled into the United States and they have suffocated and died because the smugglers don't give a damn about them. They just care about the money. And that's what's driving this, and it's a change in policy. And I do have to respond, I do respect my dear friend from San Antonio, Mr. Castro. However, this will, our, my bill will have no impact on someone's ability to apply for political asylum. That still remains their right. And in fact, he talks a lot about Ukrainians and Afghanistans who I have done a lot to protect they are our, the ones already in the United States are protected. And individuals already paroled in the United States are protected, and the, our bill clearly says that. So I do want to correct the record on that. But the human suffering, uh, Mr. Chairman, and thanks for the question, um, it's, it's, it's horrific and it needs to stop.